Hey folks, welcome to What's New, the Peter Lerman Outdoors radio show, and thank you very much for taking the time to listen to us today. I'm your host, Peter Lerman, and if you're a frequent listener of our show, you know that we've been bringing you shows about what we saw at ICAST last month in Orlando, Florida. Well, on today's show, it's no different. This time, we're talking to a local Canadian company that, is, that manufactures both soft and hard baits. However, there's something different about their baits. They change color depending on water temperature. That's right, I said it changes color depending on water temperature. I don't know how it does it. I don't claim to know how it works, but I know a gentleman that does know how it works, and that's Michael Digman, who is the owner of Smart Baits Fishing Lures, and he's going to tell us about their products, their product line, and as well as hopefully he'll tell us about the technology behind their products. However, before we bring Michael onto the show, let's take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back right after this. You're listening to What's New, the Peter Larman Outdoors radio show, on WRVO Radio Network 1. ProJ Fishing Tackle, Scarborough, Ontario, is Canada's number one mega bass dealer. ProJ Fishing Tackle carries all the latest and hard-to-find tackle from some of the best manufacturers in the business. Companies like Mega Bass, Duo Realis, Luz, Shimano, Daiwa, just to name a few. Jasper and his staff at ProJ Fishing Tackle were there with expert advice, so give them a call at 416-913-8305. ProJ Fishing Tackle is your one stop before going out to catch that trophy of a lifetime. ProJ Fishing Tackle, 416-913-8305. Hey folks, welcome back. Today we're talking with Michael Dingham, who's the uh, owner of Smart Baits Fishing Lures out of Rockville, Ontario, Canada. Michael, welcome to the show. Hey Peter, uh, thanks for having me on. Always uh, good to talk to you. Uh, Michael, we've uh, we briefly met at at ICAST, and uh, you know we've talked uh, briefly there. And I'd seen your baits before; I'd I'd used them. It was it was a very interesting concept. I love the idea that it changes color. Color, for some reason, means a whole bunch of different things to a whole bunch of different people. And, um, you know, the biggest thing was, I've always said, it's the lure that catches the the, the angler, not the fish, uh, with color. I mean, just ask my wife that. If it's not pink, she won't throw it. Um, but anyway, she'll kill me for saying that. Um, but you, your baits change colors. First of all, uh, even before we even get into the details of that, tell us why you got into the bait business. Well, it's a funny story, Peter. Um, it was almost by accident, in a way. Uh, um, uh, my wife and I have good friends um, in the footwear business, and to make a long story short, a friend of mine was doing some work with uh, a few gentlemen that were um, producing footwear and apparel and using um, this thermochromatic sensitive, um, temperature sensitive ink to do all these things. And one of the partners in the company was an avid angler and he had created uh, a line of product um, a, saying that you know he thought this idea of color change technology really was a good application for fishing now you got to picture this these two guys are very um, you know sort of book smart very um, you know engineering guys very like men's smart guys and and they created this they actually worked with um, uh, a lot of different anglers developing uh, the shapes that they should use, and they found very good suppliers. And, uh, you know, they worked with Doug Hannon, the bass professor out in Florida, and did testing with him. And um, But they really couldn't get it off the ground. We met them. Um, we took over the company, bought it from them, changed the name. We finalized the patent on the technology, and uh, we thought it was a really interesting opportunity. I, I didn't grow up as a huge angler. I mean, my sport was hockey, and but been in sporting goods distribution for 20 years, and we thought this was a really interesting opportunity. Uh, we thought that uh, with this market being so big, and it looks like a fun industry, and it's a sport, so it really appealed to us, and that's how we got involved in it, and that was a couple of years ago, and we're still... Uh, uh, you know, it's taking a long time to get out to the market and get our name out there, and uh, and that's that's really how we fell into it. So it was a really by accident, but uh, what an interesting and, and fun business. I like selling things that are sports or activity driven. So that's the main reason. That's one of the reasons we got into it. That's really cool. How you know, it's really funny because we we've had other companies on the show. Uh, you know, kind of like they started out making their own baits. Now that they've grown to be 
uh, very successful, and, and obviously we wish the same for you and your wife and Thanks. and the rest of your team. However, it's weird because no, most of these guys that do this are already tournament anglers, and right. they're like, you know, I was looking for something different, and and that's been the, the, the kind of common uh, storyline, if you will, uh, behind the reasoning why people got into the into the lure manufacturing or the you know the pouring business of soft plastics and whatever. So yours is a very it's a very different story, unique. And still, uh, you know, it, it's very fascinating from, uh, from from my perspective. I think it's really cool. Well, it's funny, you know, before that I was in, I worked for the company Rollerblade that made inline skates, so we were very in tune with injection molding products at that time. I also worked in the ski business with Volcomark or Technica. Uh, I work in the footwear business. So, you know, I've been around that the business of sports-related products, plastic mold injection and you know to me uh the ski business relates most to the fishing business to me where you have you know you have pros you have uh people who are racing it's just like having pro anglers so there's a lot of similarities to the sports um but of course they're very different have their own nuances and and the nice thing about fishing is that you know you can do it almost anywhere as long as you've got a body of water a lot different than some of the other sports that you know are really there's really specific things you need to 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 participate but fishing is one of those you know broad-based um uh, sports that you can do in you know a lot of places of course you have to have the equipment and everything but there's a lot of similarities in, in in some of these sports and the business of selling it is very similar and it's just a matter of making sure you make product that people like and it's priced well and you're honest and straightforward and give people good value. That's what really what it all boils down to at the end of the day. I guess business is business, right? And that's, uh, and as you said, that's what it boils down to at the end of the day. It's it's giving a, a quality product at a reasonable price and, and you know, being personable, being professional about it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and, and uh, just in brief discussions with you guys and, and looking at your product and looking at the packaging and everything that you guys got for it, I think you guys are going in the right direction. So, Michael, tell us tell us about the product line. So, what is it that Smart Bait Lures offers? Well, if you look at the line, you know we we offer this color change technology, and and the rationale behind it is that most fish see color. A lot of bait fish, when they are being chased or when they're in nature, they they tend to change color, some of them do, and they, they tend to go to the bottom of the riverbed or the lake bed or wherever it is they are, and they do change colors. And it's funny, a lot of anglers, um, because I've been really studying the sport, being newer to it, um, I've understood that a lot of this stuff is uh, is very true, and a lot of anglers don't really know all the ins and outs of what bait fish do in nature. So we've been really trying to study that, and we've been trying to understand, you know, what bait fish do so we can make ours more lifelike and uh, this is part of the reason that um, we're so excited about the product line is that it tends to do what bait fish do in nature it's a complete fishing lure line we sell crank baits jerk baits we sell um, uh, soft baits we sell all sorts of different baits but at the same time um, if you don't even like the color change side of it, it's just a great fishing uh, product that fishes as well as anyone else because everybody out there, as you know, Peter makes fantastic products. Um, so it covers everything for everyone. We have one temperature range right now which works in 65 to 75 degree water, meaning that it will be a dark color in the cooler water and it will be a light color in... Um, in warmer water, and we're introducing a second range of 65 to 75 degrees for some of the more tropical climates. And that would pretty much cover everything that, uh, uh, you know, I mean, up here in Canada, I mean, other than ice fishing, that'll take care of pretty much everything else. Yeah, it's, it's limitless. I mean, we have a temperature range of negative 100 Celsius to plus 100 Celsius. So... We could create lures for ice fishing that change color at a lower water temperature. We can create lures at a higher water temperature. Um, so the, the, it's endless, um, and it's a like I said, it's a it's a temperature sensitive um, ink that we apply to the body of the hard baits. And the hard baits are almost pretty much handmade in the factory that we use, and the soft baits are uh, made in the USA. and uh, And it's a it's a it's a uh, pellets or sometimes a powder that's injected in that. So your so your so your plastic baits are manufactured out of the U.S. and your and your uh, and your hard baits are are um, 
custom design? Yeah, they're they're um, they're made overseas. Um, and company that we utilize there um, is a very labor intensive company. There's obviously there's uh, uh, plastic injection molding, et cetera, et cetera. But um, you know a lot of it is uh, all uh, uh, finished by hand. The um, the the color, the sensitive ink is sprayed on um, by hand as well. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of extra work that goes into making the, this product. And the suppliers that we use, our partners, really have to know how to work with the uh, with this patented uh, technology, just because it's it has its nuances. And, and we've worked with some other people, and and the two people that we're using now seem to know how to work with it best. Nice, awesome. So let's talk about your your. So you mentioned you do a hard bait, you do crank bait and a jerk bait. So that's that takes care of the hard bait section. Now, I know you've got in, in your soft baits, you've got the various, uh, you know, the the stick bait types and the grubs and that. Mm-hmm. T- tell us about um, tell us about the, the the soft bait side of things, and then we'll get back to the to the uh, to what's inside the uh, the hard baits. But the soft baits. So what do you have as far as soft baits concerned? Well, we carry a, a pretty much a complete line. Um, you know, we have. Um uh, we have a, a swim bait called the Swimming Jesse, which is, uh, you know, sort of a tubular style bait, uh, paddle tail style bait, I guess you want to call it. We have a frog, we have a drop shot, we've got a minnow, uh, we've got a, what we call Fiona Finesse, a finesse worm, we have a Robbie Ribbon worm in a 5 inch and a 10 inch, and, you know, we have the Senko style do nothing bait. Um, which ours does something because it changes color. And then we also have uh, a grub, and that's, that kind of lines up our, our soft collection. And we have uh, anywhere from five to ten different color change um, products in these. So, for example, in our Smart Bomb, which is our, our stick bait or, or single style worm, um, you know, we have uh, color combinations that go from, let's say, uh, the top of uh, some of them are laminated baits. So when they're injected, there's a top part and a bottom part to them, even mm-hmm. though you obviously see one piece. Um, you know, where the top will change from a watermelon to June bug and the bottom will change from clear to red, or it could go from smoke to June bug and chartreuse to red. So we've got a lot of different color combinations because a lot of different anglers like to fish for specific species and they. Um, also uh, like to have certain colors for certain uh, types of fish. People who fish bass, you know, love chartreuse and red. And there's people that uh, fish walleye and other species and like to pick different colors. So we're, we're trying our best. It's, it's a pretty uh, big fishing line, but we're trying to really walk before we run. We don't want to be everything to everybody. You know, you mentioned ice fishing. We're not ready to go there yet. Um, we want to get a handle on what we're doing right now with, you know, some of the main species that we're selling for, like bass and and walleye and, and pike and crappie and those sorts of fish. And we have a little bit of uh, shape. Some shapes will also work with um, uh, salt water, like the Swimming Jesse paddle tail style. Um, we have a, a guide uh, who does product development for us out in Victoria, B.C., who runs a charter service, King Size Adventures, Kingsley Grant, and he's using uh, the Swimming Jesse to catch uh, lingcod and rockfish, and he's using our glow baits, um, 150 feet down to catch halibut. So there's a lot of applications for the product, and and the color change, change technology has been well accepted by you know weekend anglers and, and a lot of a lot of pros that uh, we talk to and and uh, that we sponsor. This is where uh, I think you guys are doing the right thing. There's too many, and again, this is just my opinion, but there's too many companies out there that go out and they 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 try to do everything all at once and. You know, they last for a couple of years, and all of a sudden, you know, they can't meet the demand, or or whatever the case may be. And and you know, you brought up a really good point. Yes, I had mentioned ice fishing only because we're in Canada, and you said, you know, you guys aren't there yet. And 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 I think that's very commendable for you as a company, and obviously, you know, with your background in the business or whatever, it's uh, it's obviously showing through. And I think that's really commendable, you guys. You guys want to get what you guys have out there first, get that solidified, if you will and then branch out. And I think that's really cool and it's really business smart on you guys. Well, that's, that's kind of you, Peter. I mean, the whole issue is that I think right now we have too many SKUs as yes, it is. Right. Um, you know, we've got a sales rep in Florida and he's saying, Mike, you know, you've got to have this color. We need to have root beer change to chartreuse. And so we're cognizant of all that and we want to do that. It's just making sure that we're doing it in the correct shapes because, you know, being a business, I mean, it's great. We, we can come up with all kinds of things, but then, you know, we've got to think about you have to purchase it, you have to produce it, you've got to inventory it, you've got to par- package it, you've got to sell it. So there's a whole bunch of other things you've got to think about before you go.
go ahead and make a new color, a new style, and, and we'll get there. But, you know, it's, it's, it's very difficult to start out. We're doing uh, some direct-to-consumer sales on our website, smartbaits.net. Uh, we're, we're trying to get into retail. It's, uh, it's a tough go out there. There's a lot of brands. There's a lot of fantastic companies that make product. And you've really got to have something unique for a retailer to say, okay, I'm going to bring that in and put it on my shelf. And our product really lends itself to video description. So any store that we sell the product to, we have a displayer, we have a TV. There's a uh, one-minute uh, quick clip with uh, Reno Viola that shows you how the product works and what it does. Um, so there's a lot of components to this. It's not an, an easy sell when you first have to educate, you know, the angler about the product. And, and listen, if, if it can give you an extra edge, fantastic, because it changes color and fish are attracted by color. And in worst case scenario, like I said before, it's just all the product is, uh, it's fish as well and it's well made and we try and give you good value for, uh, for what you purchase. I mean, I, you know, you really couldn't have said it any better. Um, I, 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 I like everything you've, that you've talked about Unfortunately, right now, we've got to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, can we talk a little bit about your hard baits? And you touched briefly about it again already about where these where your products can be purchased. But if you can let us know where we can get your product, any of the retailers that are carrying your product, both in Canada and in the U.S., um, if you can let us know about that when we come back from the break, that'd be awesome. Okay, great. Folks, you're listening to What's New, the Peter Larman Outdoors radio show on WRV Radio Network 1, and we'll be right back right after this. Livingston Lures. Livingston Lures is committed to bringing fishermen everywhere innovative, technologically advanced lures designed to flat out catch fish in fresh and salt water. With an exciting new line of crankbaits, lipless crankbaits, topwater baits, jerk baits, and wake baits featuring a unique sound and vibration technology. Livingston Lures is set to make some real noise across the fishing industry. Hey folks, welcome back. If you're just tuning in to us today, we're talking with Mike, Michael Dingham, who's the, uh, the owner of uh, Smart Bait Fishing Lures out of uh, Brockville, Ontario, Canada. And uh, they've got a unique product line out there. Um, it, it's, uh, it's a soft bait and hard bait um, manufacturer that uh, the baits actually change color. And uh, before the break, Michael was telling us about their, their lineup of soft baits and uh, how they change color from... Uh, you know, from June bug to, to, I think he said red or something like that, or from clear to chartreuse or something. But it, it's really cool products. Uh, and, Michael, before the break, I'd ask us if, if we could talk a bit about your hard bait line that you have, and then as well as tell us where our listeners can uh, can obtain your products. So right. the hard bait line that you have, you said you had crankbaits and jerk baits. Tell us yep. about those. Well, we have, uh, we have a full line of jerk baits that go from, uh, you know, a mini 80 right up to, uh, you know, what we call the big boy 130. Uh, we've got uh, crank baits. Uh, we've got um, uh, a vibrating bait we call the smart vibe. And uh, we've got a kit sort of swim bait. So, uh, and within all those categories, we've got several different sizes and uh, some of them have different, uh, you know, depths that they reach and some, some more shallow than others. We don't make any top water style baits really because for our technology um, it's all about these baits going through the thermal clines uh, in the water column and uh, continually changing color to attract fish uh, to strike and this is why we're, we're really just making diving baits. Other than the, the smart buy bait which which you know sort of um, it, it's sort of a, a lipless bait you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's sort of the closest thing we have but really we're talking about you know pulling it through the water column and and having fish see this and and be tricked into striking the bait so that's that's uh that's basically what our our hard bait line is at the moment we may introduce some other products down the road but right now um we're happy with what we've listed there and and as we as i said earlier as we move on and um hopefully grow our business we'll we'll add some more products amazing now is there any rattles in your product yeah, the Smart Vibe uh, bait that we sell does have a, a, a rattle element to it, so um, it does uh, it does that fe- has that feature, and that comes in several colors, uh, several. Not only we have, of course, on the hard baits. I should explain that the color change technology is always on the belly, um, and we do have you know your normal type of of, of backs or your top on all these uh, on all these lures that. Um, you know, they all have different colorways and um, that attract and try and 
imitate different kinds of bait fish, and uh, the color change really happens on the bottom. And, and it's something really unique. You have to see it. Um, and uh, our website at smartbaits.net, we've got videos on there, and uh, it's just going through a whole new reconstruction uh, this week, and it should be all ready to go shortly, and you can see all the technology, how it works. We've got a, a four-minute video. We've got a four-minute infomercial-style video that explains to you how it all works and gives you a special offer uh, direct online. So um, check it out. It's, it's a really interesting technology, and there's lots of people out there fishing with it that really like it. Awesome, awesome. Now, you also mentioned that, uh, so obviously your, your website is being reconstructed or, or is going to be up shortly. Yeah. Um, now, where can people purchase your product? Well, right now, uh, we have a, a, a very uh, loyal, dedicated group of Canadian tire retailers that are selling the product. Um, and uh, we sell a lot of these franchisees directly. We have a corporate program with some hard baits uh, that are in all their hunting and fishing specialty type stores. They've began to open recently, mm -hmm. and they've been a terrific partner. And in all the stores, we have our displayer, we have the video, and that's one place. You can go to most of the Canadian tires, not in all of them yet. We're in about 200 of them. Uh, mainly in Ontario and Quebec, and we have some out west, and Western Canada, and uh, we have some other smaller retailers in Ontario and Quebec, but we're really just getting started. And in the U.S., we've got a couple of retailers, very few, um, but if you go online, uh, you can buy the products directly, and we'll soon have a list of our retailers on there um, at smartbaits.net or smartbaits.com, uh, either, um, either website address works. Uh, so, yeah, we're... We need help out there. We need someone to go into a retailer and ask them to carry in smart baits. And if they're not, hopefully they'll call us and they'll want to bring it into their store. Awesome, uh, Michael. It's it's been a you know what it's been a pleasure chatting with you. Uh, I think you guys got a really cool product out here. I know you guys also have a Facebook page as well. So what we'll do is we'll link our page to yours. Oh great! So folks, if you're looking for more information, uh, as Michael said, go to uh, smartbaits.net or smartbaits.com. Uh, to get more information or look at purchasing their product. Also, make sure you check out the Radio Show's Facebook page. Um, we'll have a link to that um, next week um, for uh, to, to, to link Michael's uh, Smart Baits um, Facebook page to ours. We're also on Instagram and Twitter as well, so we're, we're on all the social media sites. Perfect. So, folks, check them out, Smart Baits, um, a great product. Michael, I wish you all the best and all the success in the future and the continuing growth of your company. Um, I think you got something really cool here, and it's uh, you know what, from uh, from one Canadian to another, it's really cool to see a Canadian company actually making an impact in the fishing industry. Well, thank you. I uh, we've got a long way to go, but I appreciate it, and uh, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. And thanks for having me on the show. I really appreciate it, folks. This episode is brought to you by Proje Fishing Tackle out of Scarborough, Ontario. The Lou's building innovative products that are faster, lighter, and stronger. George's Marine and Sports making fun a reality. Livingston Lures, the difference is clear. Mercury Marine, number one in the water. And Nitro Boats, driven to be the best. It's our passion. Uh, folks, take a kid fishing in the air of the future of our sport and practice catch and release. You remember what I always say, work hard, but fish harder. I'm your host, Peter Larmond, and Lord willing, you will tune in to us next week as we bring you what's new. Thanks for listening. <laughs>